What is happening guys? Welcome back to another AC6 build guide video. Today I give you my per one of my personal mechs and this is Arendite. Arendite is actually what I named my Jeep in real life uh, and he was the mech that I decided to create a quality build around. So when I said personal mech, what I mean by this is if I needed a mech that I could modify or change up or use any weapon I wanted basically, I could you pull out this guy. I can literally put any weapon I basically want on this guy um, without, I mean, a few exceptions. I mean, a few exceptions, I'd have to change a few things around like this, but I mean, the KRSV, I'm not a big fan of it, but this build can honestly hold most guns in the game. So this is a build that I pulled out whenever I just wanted to mess around with different things, or if I was going through a level and I noticed like, oh, lasers worked better here. And then I pulled out to another level and I was like, oh, okay, kinetic weapons worked better here. I could easily switch this around. And this mech is perfect for that. Also, on top of that, this mech has a 13,000 AP. So it is, like I said, this is like your quality build. Like if you're going through a Souls game, this is like the quality aspect of that to go through it. <laughs> if you just wanted one mech to play the entire game with, this could be that build. And you could just literally, you know, exchange whatever weapons you wanted, whatever the, if you needed to, if you were going against something with missile launchers, oh, you got, um, you got homing blocking. You know, if you needed for, you know, bazookas you could do that too obviously you'd have to exchange the big cannon laser cannon on the left hand but you get the point this build you can put anything on here uh, and that's why it's so freaking good uh, to walk you through this i'm not going to talk about the units because the units can be up to you this is just what my default units are on but i switch this thing around all the time uh, for the head we have the good old melander c3 all together it's a very good just i feel quality you know ap attitude stability system recovery just everything all around the board great on this head uh the ve40a core i feel like this is the quality core of the game i mean it's just all around fantastic it's not crazy heavy but it's super powerful uh, it has great ap great adjustment generator output adjustment as well which is fantastic uh, and then for the arms, I feel like these are the best quality arms in the game. I mean, you have an AP of 3,000 on just these arms alone, uh, which is, you know, half of most regular ACs in general. Most ACs are around 8,000 AP total, so you're almost along with the arms alone, you know, over 50% there. Arms load limit is huge with this too, so you can load anything you want. And the firearm specialization is nothing to scarf at, 95, you know, so not bad on that either. And then we can go to uh, the the Tian Kang legs just because, you know, bipedal wise, these are just fantastic legs for a quality build. I think so anyway. Um, so yeah, all around great. And then for the booster, I went with the good old Alula 21E. Can't go wrong with that. And the FCS is completely change, uh, change it up whatever you want. So basically you're running shotguns, you're going to want something like a ba uh, the Balaam Abat. You know, you're running a medium build, you can run the close range medium. If you want to go more on the medium range, go with the IBIS series. So it really is completely up to you. Or if you have whole missiles and you need missile lock correction, you can put the missile lock correction on. Like I said, this is a quality build, meaning you can change this around to whatever you need it to be. The generator, this is, I call this one the quality generator, just because this one's all around just a balanced generator, has really good supply recovery, good uh, good energy firearm specialization, and it's just balanced. You know, this is just a very balanced generator in the game. Not crazy in capacity, but it reloads really quick. Uh, and then assault armor, you know, this is obviously change up whatever you need. So let's show you a little bit what this guy can do in, in action a little bit. Let's go to the arena. And like I said, this is more of a level clearing mech, but you can use them for bosses too. I mean, that's fine too. I'm just going to go through and I mean, let's, let's fight, let's fight King. Oh, that's a good one. Let's try King out. Cause me, you know, being a souls guy, I love quality. Like whenever I play a game, a souls game for the first time, I'm always leading into quality because quality allows you to play so much of the weapons or spells if you wanted to gear it into that. So I wanted to create something very similar like that in AC6. And this build does just that. It's nice and heavy too, so you can throw in a few kicks. Oh, I didn't even get to release my cannon. Oh man. But yeah, see, I mean, I took out I only used like 4,000 AP on that. Well done. I mean, generator 
Generator's good. This this is probably one of my favorite mechs in the game that I've built. Just because I can use anything I want on this mech. Like, let's say if I want to run shotguns, you know, if I want to run laser shotguns, I can do that. You know, this is a very versatile mech. I can put freaking laser diffuse cannon on the back if I wanted to. I might even be able to get two of them up there. Let me see. So I might need to put a better generator in there at that. So, so literally, I just, you know, switch around the generator a little bit. Find a better... Oh, there we go. There's one right there. If I wanted to make all the sacrifices in the world, I could do it. Hikashi. Now, is that the, a good generator? No, not really. <laughs> but the point is, this build, you can easily, you know, get around that kind of stuff. So, I mean, heck, let's let's just show it off with the Hikashi. <laughs> just, just for shits and giggles. Let's just try it out here. I'm, I mean, that's a terrible generator, but let's uh, take out Michigan with it. If I want to do a laser shotgun build... So yeah, laser shotgun build, even with a bad generator. Target destroyed. Even with a bad generator, I'm Your still able to, you know, the the run a solid, solid attack scheme on them, you know? And let's take things up a knock. Let's, let's go to, let's go to the analysis here. Um, let's see here. Just to show you how much versatility. Let's use. I don't know, man. You could use. Obviously, these will have to be switched out. Maybe like something like this. I mean, literally, you have the the <laughs> the world is your limit here on this. I mean, you can literally mix around all kinds of stuff with this build. I mean, there's so much possibilities here with this. This is just a good old quality build, in my opinion. You just, any way you want to go about it. Let's go into analysis, maybe. Um, integration subject, mine gamma. Don't really remember this guy. Let's try him out. Integration program. Main system, activating combat mode. I think you guys will like this build though, just because of, you know, you can run basically whatever you want with this guy. Yeah, <laughs> you you pick the weapons and you can basically use them with this guy. Target destroyed. Concluding analysis. Well done. Explosives, lasers, kinetic damage, whatever you want, you can basically do with this build. And one of the reasons I like the name Arendite is if you're coming from The Witcher, like I am, like a Witcher, if you're a Witcher fan like I am, uh, the, one of the swords in that game, also one of the best lore behind the swords in that game, Arendite, is literally, um, that's, that's what the name is. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons that I named my Jeep that in real life, and that's also the reason why I named this mech that, just because Arendite is just an all-around great sword in that game, and Arendite is just a good mech in this game. I mean... Anything you want to throw at this guy, you can put him on. I mean, you name it, you can do it. Paul skins, sure, you can do it. Run it. <laughs> Double lasers, run it. 
Shotguns, Zimmermans, run it. Kinetic weapons, run it. <laughs> you put them on, you, whatever you choose, you can run whatever you want with this build. That's why it's so good. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to upload it to the up to the thing. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to reload my regular one, though, just because you guys probably want the regular version. Uh, let's see here. And there's also another Arendite version of version 1. Not as good, though. A little bit less tanky and not quite as versatile. Uh, but this is so this is the one I'm going to upload to you guys. Version 2.0 is the best one that I've created for this. Best quality type in the game. And you can run basically anything you want with this guy. Have fun with Arendite, guys, because he's a blast. So here's the code. There you go. There's a share ID for PC. And like I said, you can run anything with this guy. You can put him up against any boss. 13,000 AP is a lot of AP. And it's just a great all-around quality build. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a like if you did. Enjoy Arendite. And we will see you guys next time. Stay strong, guys. More coming soon.